Welcome to Shovelware Diggers. Our dig team is currently excavating the SoftKey Shareware 2000 Hit Games 2CD Collection. You can find a link in the video description containing the entire directory structure of this archive. It's week 86, and these are the games our diggers have for us today. For more information on how to join the dig team, simply head on over to the Patreon page linked in the video description. Now without further ado, let's begin. First up, we have a team dig from Catdog Joe and Foon Turing. DOS games backslash arcade2 backslash paints. I seriously doubt this is some sort of paint program, but you never know. We got a pretty short readme there, so type readme. You have been playing Mad Painter demo version. Uh, I haven't started playing it yet, but registered version includes three unique towns or areas to paint instead of the demo single town. In addition, when you register, you'll receive a free copy of Alpha Bopper. Okay, uh, so yeah, it seems that this is a $10 program from Wonderware in Jacksonville, Orlando, or, or Jacksonville, Oregon, Orlando, Orlando's in Florida, Jacksonville, Orlando, Florida, <laughs> yeah, that makes perfect sense, okay, uh, it was just paints, right, yeah, paints, Mad Painter, copyright 91, Steven someone, uh, let's see here. I for instructions. Object of the game, paint the center line on every street in town. That sounds like a really menial task. <laughs> um, obstacles to your appointed task. Crazed drivers running wildly about the town, because there's no lines for them to stay in their lanes. Clouds occasionally drift through town, wiping out your fresh paint. So I'm guessing they rain on the paint. Isn't the paint that they use for like drawing those lines like really resistant to rain? Keyboard control and spacebar to play. Whoa. Okay then. Uh. <laughs> so this is kind of like a inverse Pac-Man almost. So you're just trying to paint all the lines. It does feel like it's going a little fast. I might want to ch adjust the cycles count, but... So far it doesn't seem too bad. I'm guessing it's using... whoops. I'm guessing it's using EGA 640 by 350 for that, which is why it's like that. Oh, you get one life and that's it? Ooh. Okay, maybe I should consider turning the speed down, but we'll give it one more shot here. Yep, I, apparently there's a cloud showing up now. I have no idea where it is, and I have no idea how to get rid of it, but... Okay, I see where it rained. It actually grays it out as opposed to erasing it. That's good. Well, I think we may actually get it this time. So what's our reward for 100%? Our reward is to go to level 2. Okay then, there isn't really a lot to this. Oh, hang on, it just occurred to me, this isn't in a graphics mode, this is using a modified text mode. Like, I mean, if you look at the way it's moving... Yeah, this is actually a modified 80 by 25 text mode. That's kind of interesting. Because, yeah, if you look at the graphics, you can see that none of the tiles have more than two colors on them. So, yeah, something that, was, something that was occurring to me while I was playing this here is that it's going really, really fast for what should be a game that should be able to run this fast. For this kind of graphics and speed and resolution, so it's definitely using a te modified text mode. So, yeah, I don't really think there's much else to show here. So, this was Mad Painter. Kind of an interesting curiosity. There's not really a lot to it. And I don't like the fact that you don't get any extra lives. You have one life and that's it. And down I go. But yeah, it's it's not bad for what it is. I don't think it's worth $10, but maybe 5. But it really needed it really needs more to it than just the um than just running around dodging the cars. Like, the clouds are an interesting touch, but you don't really get to see those because of how big the cities are. And that's the other thing, too, is you could have had more different kinds of cities and more levels. Like, maybe that's in there, but I don't know. It's very basic. 
Not worth $10, but not a bad game otherwise. Next up, Justine Toplin dug up DOS games backslash arcade backslash atomics underscore. I actually know what this is. Um, let's see. Well, I'll just go load it, I guess. No file specified. Okay, we'll just go game. <laughs> so yeah, this is Atomics. Now, from what I understand, because I re did research into this at some point, this is actually an unlicensed port of an Amiga game or something like that. In fact, let me just double check that quickly because I want to get this right here. Because this is something I looked into before because I've wanted to cover this game on Ancient DOS games, but I couldn't find like any legitimate info about the game. Yeah, I'm doing some quick looking up of stuff now, and I'm I'm pretty sure I'm wrong about what I just said, but at the same time, I'm having trouble figuring out just what is what. It seems like the Atari ST version is the one that came first, and then came DOS and Commodore 64 ports. I don't know, like, the DOS port did get reviews, but I don't know if it was, like, legitimately released or something. I don't know, there's some weird history with this game. So that's part of the reason why I haven't covered it on Ancient DOS games. The other part of the reason is I tried to get in touch with the authors and they said, well, nothing. I didn't get it. I didn't actually get any response from them. So anyways, we'll take a quick look at it here. Anyway. But one player game and we'll go normal difficulty and keyboard control. Player one is on move, press button. So this is kind of a puzzle game. The idea is you have a time limit, and you're trying to make the molecule that's showing at the side there. But when you move your pieces here... Oh, whoops, space is paused. <laughs> but yeah, when you put, move a piece, you're only allowed to move it full distances. So when you push left once, it moves the whole distance. So you have to sort of arrange them in a way that that'll make that'll make it work. So if I do something like that, like how am I supposed to get this particular piece down here, right? So what you can do is you can use the other pieces to sort of manipulate how you're moving everything. Now this first level is actually not that hard. I'm just sort of messing up big time because I haven't played this in like forever. But the later levels can actually get pretty tr tricky. Now part of the reason why I don't know if this DOS version was ever completed is because there's no sound effects. And I'm pretty sure the original game, like for the original, whatever operating system it came for first, did have sound effects. The other thing to consider too is that each of the molecules actually has a particular connection point on them. So you can't just connect them wherever. You have to make sure you connect them in the right spot. So yeah, the other thing too is that the time limits are actually pretty restrictive. So you gotta be, you gotta be pretty quick with what you're doing here. And I kind of forget what happens if you run out of lives, but or if you run out of time. I don't know if there's extra lives or what, but it is keeping score though. Although some of these aren't too tricky. This one I pretty much got in the in the bag here. Just go like that, and then bring this one up like that. See, so yeah, some of them are easy, some of them not so much. And you get a time bonus for clearing the stage. But yeah, without the, um, there's actually quite a number of levels to this, and they do get a little more interesting, like this one here, Ethene, where you actually have to connect them diagonally now. And I do seem to recall it's actually fairly difficult to totally mess up in this game, but not impossible. And yeah, I pretty much have this one now too. So you just gotta be a little clever with the position of everything, and there you go. If anybody has any particular details about this game, please let me know. Cause it'd be interesting to know, like, just what exactly was up with this thing. Cause I sure don't. <laughs> then we'll bring this one down like that. Bring this across. Pull that down, push that up. Push that over to the side. Push this one down. Push this one over like this, this one over here, push this all the way down, push this one back, this one to the side, this up, and this over. 
Yeah, this could be pretty tricky, but it's. I find this is a really interesting puzzle game. I just kind of wish there was more info about it and everything. And then you got these sort of bonus rounds here where you actually have to arrange them in a particular order. In this case, we have to arrange them from least full, from emptiest to fullest, I guess you could say. I don't know if emptiest is a word. Also, these kind of remind me of the bottles from Bubble Bobble. And the ones you can pick up to get all the bonus items to appear. So yeah, I've been playing this for almost 15 minutes now, so I should stop because this, this is this is a fun game, despite the lack of sound effects and everything. Like, I'd love to be able to do a normal episode on this. It's just so hard to find proper details. So if anybody's got proper information about this, please let me know. And maybe this will show up on Ancient DOS games someday. But for now, here it is on Shovelware Diggers, and I hope you guys think that this looks fun, because I think it looks fun. I think it's fun. And to finish things off today, RuneFox has dug up DOS games backslash arcade3 backslash Z66PRV. I'm guessing this is going to be the shareware version of... Wait. <laughs> okay, I was going to guess the shareware version of Zone 66, except... Um, that's a lot of GIF files. And not a lot of Zone 66 executables. And we got Ren93 there, which suggests that this is going to be a demo scene thing advertising Zone 66. Let's see if I'm right about that. Um, well, so far we have Renaissance showing up in, you know, demo scene style here. And I just realized it's actually still running in text mode, so that's kind of impressive. <laughs> Um, seriously, what? How the hell, the hell did they do that? <laughs> They've got it scrolling and everything? It's still in text mode! Man, you gotta le leave it to those, um, demo scene coders. They really know how to push these things to do stuff. But anyways, so far this has doesn't seem to have anything to do with Zone 66, but I got a funny feeling that's gonna change in a moment. Maybe? Like, so far it is listing the people who produce Zone 66, but... And I should point out that it's silent. There's, like, no sound with this, for whatever reason. Like, I mean, I know Atomics had no sound, but... This literally has no sound going. I wonder if maybe it's linked to Gravis Ultrasound support, and that's why we can't hear anything. I'm gonna let it run for a little while here, just to see what where it goes from here because we had a bunch of um we had a bunch of gif files for zone 66 so i'm guessing that maybe it'll show them i don't know this is just this is just this there is nothing more to this so the executable is simply a brief text mode demo scene thing and there's a bunch of gif files well i guess i can show the gif files on the screen you know, the crazy, crazy thing is, while I'm going to load these up, I don't think Zone 66 is actually on this shareware CD. Uh, here's the file ID.this file. It actually simply says, a few screenshots from our soon-to-be-released game, Zone 66. So let's actually see what some of these screenshots look like. So here's the first one, showing uh, one of those mega bombs going off in the game. Zone 66 is a game that I really do need to cover on Ancient DOS games someday. It's just finding a full copy of it is so hard. You can find pieces of it because it was released as like four separate packs, sort of. It was originally released as shareware with... It's basically, it's divided into eight missions, and the shareware mission is the first one. And then originally, I believe it was released as... At missions 1 through 4 and 5 through 8 as two separate things to purchase, or you could purchase them at the same time. But then there were box releases containing just two missions each. So <laughs> you can sort of pick up bits and pieces of the game, but actually getting like all eight missions for the game is kind of hard. This next screenshot here is actually showing the pilot using the escape velocity function while shooting some shots and smoking badly. I don't think the smoke is coming from him because his shield levels are perfectly fine. And another screenshot demonstrating that there's more than just the the jungle type landscapes. We, we got an Arctic landscape. Whoops, this is a screenshot of the player crashing and burning. 
<laughs> yeah, if the if the scores on the screen and the health indicators are missing, players going down. Here's a screenshot showing that there's actually different weapons for the different crafts. This one's using a sort of Vulcan gun, I believe it's called. Got another escape velocity picture right here. This one definitely comes from a later mission because I do not recognize those graphics at all. Once again, don't recognize the graphics because I've never played the full version entirely anyways. Like, I know what the full version does because a friend of mine had, um, I forget if he had all eight missions or just the first four, but he actually did have, like, registered missions for it. So I know what ends up happening is you can actually, you actually get a variation of different jets you can fly depending on which missions you have available. So the more missions you purchase, the more different jets you have available for any of the missions. So it's kind of neat in that regard. This screenshot looks like it's from the same map. It has some weird electric stuff going on and turrets firing at the player from the ground. Straight up lava in this picture. Oh yeah, the space station. <laughs> if I recall, the very last mission is like space-based, and that kind of doesn't make sense when you're flying jets, but then what do I know? And this is the last screenshot right here, and this one is probably the most boring of them all. Although it does show in the bottom corner that the player has the um, shadow form selected, which basically it makes you immune to damage for a brief period. And then it, above that you can see he's got 90 missiles Wait, 90 missiles? I didn't think anything in the game was capable of equipping that many missiles. Jeez. So yeah, that was just a whole bunch of screenshots from Zone 66. So it's a game that I really want to cover on... Another one of those games I really want to cover on Ancient DOS games that I just can't find the full version of. Like, I mean, I've been told that because the it was made by demo scene coders and that those demo scene coders pretty much don't have much to do with this old stuff anymore, that they probably wouldn't mind if I search, scouted out like an illegitimate copy. But the thing is, is that I like having legit copies of the stuff I cover. It's just... It's better, it, I find it better working with legit copies because then I know what to expect in terms of how the legit copy is going to work. Whereas when you download something from online that's not legitimate, you have no idea if you're getting something that, first of all, if it's been cracked or something, or if it's had trainers added to it, or if the files are corrupted in some way you're not quite sure what you're getting that way. And you can't be certain that the defaults that you're seeing or any of the bugs you're seeing or anything like that are going to be in a proper registered copy. So that's why I like to have registered copies of everything. Not to mention the whole fact that eh, I'm just not a whole huge into the piracy thing and all that. But in any case, all this folder contained was a quick demo scene thing which ran in text mode, which I guess I can pull that up again just to end on that. What was it, Renaissance 93? Yeah, it's still crazy that this is running in text mode. And other than that, a whole bunch of screenshots from Zone 66, which these guys made. So, yeah, nothing much more to say about this one.